Soon, Christmas time was on the horizon. And while everyone else was decking the halls and preparing to celebrate the birth of Jesus, I was preparing to meet the world's foremost Satanist. It was surreal as I made my way from airport to airport, eventually leaving the U.S. behind for a cold, mysterious land. When Eric and I finally arrived at our destination airport, we were greeted by a man with a furry hat and long coat. This was Magister Robert Lang, a fourth degree Satanist. You see, the church says anyone can call him or herself a Satanist if that person agrees with their philosophy. But to become a registered member of the church, you must sign a statement agreeing with their philosophy. Though it's strongly suggested, you don't even have to read the Satanic Bible. You currently pay a one-time $200 lifetime membership fee, no tithing suggested, and you will receive a little red card declaring your membership in the Infernal Empire. To become an active member of the church, you must fill out a lengthy application asking for information like, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Or, describe your ideal of a physically attractive sex partner. Or, tell one of your favorite jokes. If you are accepted, you become a bona fide first degree Satanist. And if you do well, leading a productive, successful life in society as the church monitors you, you may just advance through these ranks. Second degree, warlock or witch. Third degree, priest or priestess. Fourth degree, magister or magistra. And finally, the degree that can only be attained by the leaders of the church. Fifth degree, magus or mega. There is also a governing body of primarily secret members called the Council of Nine. Pretty neat, huh? Altogether, they consider their system a meritocracy where ranks are handed out based on individual achievement. Since working on this film, numerous people have emailed me to say the church is nothing but a money scheme. Well, keep in mind, no one has to pay anything. It's all voluntary. Of course, one could say that all religions are money schemes, and some Christian evangelists live in big houses and drive fancy cars. But it seems to me it's unfair to focus solely on money. Money is just a realistic part of life. We need it to live. But now you know how it works in the Church of Satan. And so, as a fourth-degree magister, Robert Ling, the man in the furry hat, was as high as you can get on the totem pole other than leading the entire worldwide organization. And he was driving us deeper and deeper and deeper into nowhere as the sun set. Here, Eric and I were in another country with a man we'd never met before, driving us into a frozen winter wonderland to a secret location. It quickly became clear if these Satanists had bad intentions, we were fucked. <laughs>